Yes, and it's good to see you again. I feel good. That's good. Come in here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you today. that I had insulted them. I had said that directly to them, that if there are any reasonable people. <laughs> 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 they, they, like, like, <laughs> they look like cobras up there. <laughs> <laughs> so every, now I am um, well aware. But it is sensitive. They can pick up your disciplines. Yeah. is about to do what you've always wanted to see happen, and this is to shut the government down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just wanted to take two minutes to tell the government together. You overlapped a couple couple years, I think. Yeah. And, uh, no, I have a great respect. I have to tell you that, you know, we've got a, an awful long list, and, and nothing has been decided, so I'm glad to have the input. Well, I just wanted to put in Quite, you're doing the right thing, and Otis Bowen has credibility and respect written all across his chest and shoulders. He had a, a state government, you'd be interested in this, he ran the state government 50, he beat California, uh, ran at the 50th of a percentage of personal income to run state and local government. Wow. When he went out, he was 50th, so economy, economy is what it's all about. And he's a medical doctor, he's a medical doctor plus a governor, so that's my two cents worth, you, you can't go wrong. Uh, and uh, he'll be on hold to hear. Did he say he's now in 84? Is that just the medical school or do you have a, a medical uh, plus the nurses? Uh, yeah, there's a hot teaching hospital and everything that's there. It's a huge IU medical center. It's it a is. big complex there. Oh, I forgot you were a oh, yeah. yeah, there's a there's a few around. You're sort of a gang. I was in a teaching I understand. There you go. We'll, we always support your judgment. Same China. That is the same one. It is really. Now, Mr. President, if you look closely, it's actually right here. With a big, big, what is it? Big, that's one. One score. Let me see that photo again, please. Break the cups. Could I? Could I just break the cups. No cups. Yeah. You want to take the cups off? Want to take the cups off? Yes, let's do there, that. There are no cups in, the, in their picture. They were just ready. All right. Bell there. Napkins still in the place, or yeah. I get the right napkins pass. are still in place. The napkins are all in the place. Yeah. 
wait on the side and uh, until he was ready. And we, we, we never, they never let us make anything while he was being carried. It was an unwritten rule. Uh, but it was a request of the, what, of the president to his friends, the photographers, not to uh, have a picture of him made when he was, uh, when he was being carried, and, as, and, and he said, if you do that, I'll make myself available. Yeah. Could I have that camera really? quick there, 35? Okay. He said, I'll make myself available no, more so than any president before. And they agreed. But what happened was a request soon had the, soon was law in effect, because every time you try to make a picture of him being carried, or yeah. around, somebody would say, you can't do it. You can't do it. It's 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 a rule, and it was a. Uh, but it, that could never happen today. That could never happen because, because of TV and the other situation. Mr. a big smile. That's it. Let's have a. This is one time a smile will, will work. That's it. And this will be the last one right from here again. Back further. What he just said to George is neither one of us ever better get the real job. Get yeah, course to course in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. He was younger than I am now, so I, I'm 67, so I don't know what to do. But what gets me, Mr. President, is when I look at pictures like this, when I was 21 years old, I was looking at him, I said, oh, God, he's old. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> and then, but today I say, you know, he was a pretty young man, he really. And Truman here, you see, another, uh, I was very familiar with, uh, I knew them, most of the presidents. Except you, because you were an admirer of the president. I wish you would have this. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, and Scotty reminds me of one time in my lifetime of having dogs. I had a couple of scotches. My name was Scotch and Soda.
Well, thank you, Mr. President. And you have that. I, uh, any question? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, wouldn't presume as to sign it. I'm going to have you sign one to me, though, for both of you. Okay. Thank you very much. Congressman. caused me to have the flames of commitment rekindled in my own breast are indeed fortunate that this man has chosen to lead. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. them see the light? I guess we all know the answer to that. He's sitting right here. Wyatt Durrett, who has... <laughs> ...elected officials have come out strongly for Wyatt, and Wyatt's support extends beyond the state and crosses party lines. And the other one is the current leader of the Republican Party, me. <laughs> seeing more and more freedom works. Not a, he knows it's, in addition to that, that it's not another new state office boondog who paid for by higher taxes that we need for any other problems that come through not too long ago. Last year too, we heard promise after promise for billions of dollars of new government spending programs. Virginia. On that subject of taxes, let me interject a note here about the national scene. I'm going to let you in on a little known fact. There are people in Washington, some of them even hold elected office, who still harbor a secret desire way down deep in their hearts to raise your taxes. And I know you may find this hard to believe, but it's true. They said it before and I'll keep on saying it as many times as it takes, no matter how it's disguised or packaged. <laughs> For those who are trying to torpedo tax fairness, let's remind them exactly what's on the line. America's fair share plan, as submitted, would increase the, of the standards 
by which any alteration of the plan will be judged. Any plan that is less pro-growth, any plan that is less pro-family, will be robbing America of the jobs and prosperity, locking us into a spending reduction path that will bring the budget into balance by 1990. And then I think we should honor the words and the complaint of another great Virginian. The idea to me, and I gather from your reaction, you agree. It's funny how some of those who've been screaming the loudest about deficits are now obstructing and delaying, doing everything they can to try and sink this bill, ousted about a bit. <laughs> but when we talk about the future of Virginia and the future of America, we're really talking about something more. Dean Kirkpatrick's famous phrase, always blames America first, while too often making excuses for the enemies of freedom. At home, it erects walls to lock out God and keep him away from our school children, but has trouble locking up drug pushers, thieves, and murderers.